You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Hey everyone and welcome back again to Forgiveness Friday. There's a famous saying from Luther. Luther's talking to his buddy Philip Melanchthon. They're sitting there having a chat. He's like, Phil, how you doing? He's like, I'm good, Martin. How you doing? They're talking about sin. Philip Melanchthon's kind of talking about not what sin should he confess, but worrying about certain sins. Kind of like, you know, is this a sin that's really worth bothering God about? Should I confess this sin, basically? And Luther makes a very famous statement. He says, sin boldly. You'll see this statement everywhere. It's on coffee cups. Actually, on coffee cups, it says brew boldly and stuff like that. But this is a statement from Luther that's kind of been misunderstood. It's almost like Luther is licensing Melanchthon to go out and do whatever he wants. And that's not what he's saying. What he meant by it was just confess the sin. Sin is sin. Don't make it too big. Don't make it too small. It is what it is. Confess it. And this is the second part Luther then says after sin boldly rejoice in the grace and mercy of your Savior. Rejoice in the reality that Jesus on the cross assumed every single one of your sins. There isn't one he didn't die for on the cross for you. Every one of them. So it's from the ones that we make into really big deals to the ones we don't think of much. So that gets us to our sin for the day. Speeding. Oh, you 16-year-old, 17-year-old, 77-year-olds, you never know who it could be behind the wheel going 65 in a school zone. Is that a sin to speed? I mean, everybody else is doing it. What's wrong with speeding? I mean, it's there kind of as a recommendation, you know, go 45, go 50. Here in the good state of Texas, it says go 65 and everyone's going 120. Does it really matter if I go a few miles over the speed limit? Well. Luther says, sin boldly, so pedal to the metal. Get to where you're going faster than everybody else. No, that's not what he means. The question is, why are we speeding? Why, why is it important to go 80 miles an hour in a 25, hour, uh, 25 mile per hour uh, subdivision? Why are we trying to get somewhere so quickly? Now, in some instances, yeah, like if there's an emergency, you want to get there as fast as you can. I remember one time I was driving to a funeral and I had to get there and I went 70 and a 30. I don't even know why it was a 30 and I was going 70. It was a weird, weird area. But a policeman stopped me and instead of trying to justify it, I said, I actually said, Father, forgive me. <laughs> and he said, take heart. You're actually going to my aunt's funeral. I'll lead the way. So he let me follow him the whole way. But I didn't sit there and tell him, oh, I have all these reasons why I did it. I just confessed it. I said, you know what? I should have done this. I should have done this. I was acting selfishly. And that's really what it comes down to is when we speed, when we go really fast, we're not acknowledging anybody else but ourselves. Why do I have to get there now? Because I didn't get up early enough and get going. Instead of trying to make excuses for it, we just confess it. Yes, I shouldn't have done this. Please forgive me. Now, the police officer sometimes will forgive you, like in my instance, and he escorted me the rest of the way to the church. Others, you'll get the ticket and have to pay the fine. But the reality is, what lies underneath the speeding, that selfish desire, not thinking of others, but only thinking of yourself, Christ assumed that on the cross. On the cross, he took it and said, every time you go blaring through a school zone every time you don't use the turn signal and cut someone off every time you're going in the left lane have you ever done this you're in the left lane and the person in front of you is going the speed limit and you're like honking the horn getting them out of the way every time that happened jesus said i've taken care of it in me in my death in my resurrection it is absolved and forgiven so basically here's the point with speeding don't waste any time trying to come up with excuses about it. 
just confess it. Say, I have sinned, please forgive me. And our Lord Christ does. Because on the cross, he assumed everything from things we don't think are sinful because we've made them very small to those things we think are unforgivable because we've made them so large. Everything in between Christ made his own, put to death, so that you may be absolutely forgiven. So take heart, my friends, and may your conscience not be burdened, but instead free in holy absolution. That though you may have sped, were caught, weren't caught, <laughs> may the devil not burden you, but may you rejoice instead in the voice of Jesus who says, take heart, your sins are forgiven. Depart in peace. God bless y'all, and we'll see you next time on Forgiveness Fridays. Bye-bye.